What is this? Search the ruins of the inn. This used to be the inn. This looks like ruins of some big building. What could have happened here? Burned down. What the hell is he up to? They're messing with a safe. He. What did he hide here? I need to turn that safe around somehow if I want to reach it. I can't move it with my bare hands. How would I move it then? Well, that's not working. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something. I'm guessing when we go back to Nicholas, we're going to see why this place burned down. It's probably that night that it happened. Charred ruins. The Soviets want all of this country to look like that. view. It'd be amazing to stay at this inn and be able to look out the window and see this. Broken lamp. Could it be the reason for the fire that turned the place to ashes? To think that something so small could cause so much damage gives me the creeps. Damn, I'm not really scared of heights, but I better be careful. will help. Metal rod. It could be used as a lever. Perhaps it could even lift something as heavy as a safe. This also looks covered in blood. Everything I pick up is covered in blood. I want to see what is mm, this way. If it fell on me, no one would ever find me here. 
What is this place anyway? What's in this damn safe? How do I open it? Maybe I can find something in this room. Given how much everything burned, like this must have been put here after the fire, right? And this lamp is on. It looks like someone noted the combination to the lock here. Which numbers do I need, though? Remember, the answer is not present. Uh, oh, I can turn the pages. Okay, so it points How to. How am I supposed to make anything out of it? Yeah, it points to which position the number is supposed to be in, and then just a list of a bunch of numbers. I'm guessing I'm supposed to read the list of numbers and just see what's missing out of it. Oh, that's cool. This page just has a little tiny bit. It's mostly ripped. Okay, let's start with position one. So, like three, two, four, zero. One is there, yes, two is there, three is there, four is there, five, five is there. Uh, I don't see six. No six? Is that true? I see eight, I see nine. What about seven? Oh, I see six. So it's, it's seven. All right, first one is seven, written down. Position number two is this one. Um... Rather than just like look at the list of numbers, I think I'm going to look like start with number zero and number one and see if I can eliminate it. Zero, present, one, present, two, present, three, present, four, present, five. Mm, I don't see five. I don't immediately see five. I see six, I see seven, I see eight and nine. Okay, so next one is five. Position three I see zero I don't immediately see one I think it's one two three four five six yeah I think it's one and then the very last one not too many numbers to go on here Zero, there, one, there, two, there, three? I don't see three. Mm. I think it might be three. I don't know if I even need to know the last number. I think I can just rotate that one number, and, and if all the others are correct, I should be fine. But nonetheless, I want to get it right. So four is there. Is there a five? I don't see a five either. Three, so three or five, maybe. There's a lot of missing numbers, actually. Could be three, could be five, could be six or seven. Three, five, six, seven. Right, so first is seven. Then five. Then one. Then three, five, six, or seven. Three, five, six, seven. Okay. There, finally.
The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for... Here we go. More Nicholas, back to the horror. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. Looks like he was trying to save me, but why? Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. C go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his daguerreotype. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices... There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. This inn looks so cool. Oh, and you can hear the rain outside hitting the windows, and you can see the rain in the reflection of the light from the windows. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of subtle. Oh yeah, you can really see it right there. This place just oozes mood. Um, I think I want to read this diary entry. I can hear so many voices. First, I thought I was delusional again. But no, this is different. It's as if, for some reason, I've started to hear the past. To notice its traces. Maybe I'm going insane, but it seems so real. It's as if I've started clearly seeing the memories that were hazy before. I can hear the witnesses of John Norton's death. The man with the slashed throat was the missing judge, but also my father's friend and associate. There was a detective in the inn at that time who apparently looked for Norton. I must find out how much he managed to discover. I'll try to find out his room number by checking the guest registry. He might have left something there. Look at all those webs. Seriously, the game developers did an amazing job making the environments. all the bugs flying around here also I hear ghostly voices This former associate is that possible i've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago i'm getting lost memories and delusions all bleeding into one judge john norton age 49 height 510 last seen on august 26th 1854 here in blackstone contact walter gilman currently in the blackstone inn room number <laughs> and then it's cut off. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walt 
Walter Gilman. Bis I'm sorry, does that say biscuits are watching? Biscuits are watching? I might be misreading that. I have no fucking clue what that says. I can't really read cursive. Something is perfectly fine to be something must something. Gonna assume that's not too important, I hope. Should probably go straight for the janitor's office, try to get that key. I think most things are going to be locked. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I also don't like that. So I just can't get up this way. Look at how that rain looks on the window. You can't really see it without light, but I shine a light on it. Let's see how it looks with a match. About the same. bugs. Oh. Hey, this is actually readable. If I could just get it angled, right? <sighs> Miscellaneous valuable receipts. Number one. Doctor says care for the... Doctor says care for the bite of a mad dog? Take one ounce of red chicken weed gathered and dried in the shade during the month of June. Put it into one quart of strong or brewer's beer. Boil it down to one pint. Strain the tea through a clean linen cloth. Then stir into the tea one ounce... There... Therias? Th th fuck, this is really hard to read. <laughs> oh well. Ah, damn, I can't shut the drawer. The piece of paper seems to be experiencing rigor mortis.
no. Pyrite lump. A lump of pyrite from my father's mine. Some call it fool's gold, but it has brought considerable wealth to the Hyde and Whitehead families. I don't need any particular number of room on the bottom floor, though. I think that's only after I know what room the detective was staying in. Um, I do see that there's stairs. That'll probably lead to the second floor around this corner on the left. It's probably where I need to go. scared me, not anything happening. <laughs> well, that's a suspicious hatch thing. Does it not have a handle? A page from the Bible. Was it left here by one of the guests? Luke 8, Luke eight seventeen, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Nothing is secret. My best guess is 817 is some sort of a code. seem to be guiding me to the second floor, to the stairs. Doesn't exactly make it bright in here, but it is comforting to have all these candles lit.
Oh, that's not a real ladder. I can't climb it. I can only move it. Is there anywhere I can move it to? Nah. Not that damn painting again. Was the janitor's room 207 or 206? Oh, right next to me is 207. I mean, I'm gonna try all the doors, so I don't know if it really matters in particular. a lot of blood and I think there is a body or two in the bed. How am I going to get in there? I see kind of a hole in the floor. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Did I... Did I already explore that room? Where did I come from? Yeah, I came from there. Did I just completely blank on exploring this room? No, I don't think I have explored it. No way. I think that's my way into that other room. Oh! Didn't want to go down there yet, but thanks. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Oh, that's a classic. I've seen that one before. Hmm. 
Oh, cool. This is the murder room. Opal, a magazine for psychiatric patients. A magazine created for the patients of a psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig swill and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay, and the ones that do are never really free men again. It should be considered great luck to ever get out of such an institution. The first magazine edited by patients. Stories, articles, poems. That's a nice ladle. What can I say? I cook a lot. I appreciate a good ladle. Poor soul. 
He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. janitor's notes. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if these ghosts don't leave me alone. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, Calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My god, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. can be used to access room 106 in the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Uh, am I trapped in here? <laughs> I'm scared to move. be able to go outside. <laughs> this is so cool. You can just see the silhouette of the mountains. to wing A. Oh, fucking hell! Is this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose my mind? These ghosts are kind of assholes. Look at that crumpled up curtain. A 
Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, do I want to go in here right now? Shouldn't I go down to the first floor? I'll leave it almost solved. There. Angam. Where did that come from? Was that there the whole time? It's stuck for good. That's no use. Huh. Well, I guess let's just try all the doors that I maybe have keys for. I know I could like look at a map and try to figure out which one I need to go, I need to, go to, but I think I'd rather just do this. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should actually read the thing. Uh, not that. Set of keys. Room 106. 106 is back down the hallway. The first one on the right next to the stairs. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That door. Doctor's business card. Looks like a business card of some doctor. Psychiatrist, Herbert West. 958 West Church Street, Miskatonic Campus. Arkham, Massachusetts? 55125. Today at 5 p.m., an appointment with Mr. Whitehead concerning the boy. Soon before the accident at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strained. George was irritable because of the stagnation in their business, and for some reason he seemed to blame everything on my father. Or me. I might have been an insufferable brat, I can't deny that, but he kept calling me a lunatic, and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it was about some other boy. I'm dead. You can stop now. Love the jump scares. <laughs> they love the jump scares, I mean. They love to put them in the game. <laughs> I don't love them so much. Uh, what ex- oh. What exactly am I supposed to do now? Walter Gilman. Kita's room should be in the reception area, but it's closed. Janitor kept all the keys. He lived upstairs. 
Yes. Find the keys to the reception area and then get go back there to check the guest registry. Right, so still ultimately trying to find Walter Gilman's room and the key to their room. But I still need to find the way into here. Which I don't have yet. Well, in that case, let's go anger. <laughs> 